Welcome to the episode today. Today's episode is going to be just a little bit different. Um, so Dave and I went on that amazing trip, just an amazing trip. We had so much fun. Um, Dave got to do a bunch of crazy things, skydive, fly in a jet, um, sp spend time with me, which isn't that crazy, but it's nice to do. We don't get to have that time at all. So today's episode is going to be an entire episode of like the clips that didn't make it in the other episodes from the trip, which I'll, I'll link them at the end of this video. Um, so here is a, uh, like a little behind the scenes, deleted scenes, parts that didn't make it in the actual vlogs. Here's all that footage for, well, for Dave, but also for you guys to see as well. Okay, here we go. Hey. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work, right? What's that? <laughs> What's that? What's from you? Oh, God. I think it works good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, try. <laughs> I just tried it. It loosened my shoulder up already. That's hilarious. <laughs> You're still into it. No, I don't keep it. Just up and around. That's fine. Oh yeah, I see some movies with the girls use that thing. Yeah, yeah, but it's different. Yeah. No, you don't use it in this way. Yeah. I see the movie with the girls. Yeah, you see that? You get your foot in your pool. Follow video. Follow video. Follow video. Follow video. What's up, Dave? What's happening, man? How we doing today? We're doing great. Well, what's this crazy looking harness you got on here? I don't know. I'm, I'm out of control. This is what they put on me on Tuesdays. Well, what are we doing today? We are jumping out of an airplane. From how high? 18.5 or 18. 18,000, man. You, I'll give you back the extra yeah, five, it, okay? But it, either way, man, that is still the highest tandem skydive in the world. Right. Are you sure you're ready for this? I was sure when I was born. That's what I like to hear. Well, Dave, just a second. We're going to get on that plane right there. We're going to take it up to 18,000 feet, as you said. Right. Once we get up there, we're just going to get to the edge of the plane. We're then going to drop out of that perfectly good airplane and plummet at the earth at over 120 miles an hour. You can't speed that up? No, that's about it we're gonna do. Critical velocity. Terminal velocity, you got it my friend. High five, next time I see you, we'll be getting on the plane. Right Let's on. go get some. Let's do this thing. Yours, you own it, right? This is Dave getting ready for his L39 flight? Yeah. This is John? Yep. How you doing? You could be next. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna go we're in the middle of going over these instruments here, and then we're gonna go downstairs and find a plane that looks just like that. I wish you were being kind, Chip, I know. Any previous flying experience? Yeah, actually, I brought my flight log. Okay. I got my private ticket. You know, all single engine land stuff. I did some some low wing stuff, and not just Cessnas. So this is your gig, man, huh? Yeah, this, this is my company. I've had this plane for 15 years. I actually have three aircraft. I have a, this uh, Rockwell 700 here. I do zero gravity flights in. I see someone floating around in here. And then I've got a Russian MiG-21 that I'm hoping to get up and flying soon, so I can do supersonic flights too. Yeah, supersonic. Now the uh, MiG flight has got you know this thing to take you with a MiG. And right, I don't think it's flying. I think that oh, the flights it? are suspended. Are they? For, I don't know. Yeah, they long. they were promoting weather, weather permitting mm. edge of space kind of thing. I, I did that in the MiG-25 when you could still fly the MiG-25. Oh yeah. yeah. Several thousand hours. I've just oh, been okay. flying uh, flying gliders and. That's Regular great. planes, twins, and then I got into jets about 15 years ago after going to Russia and doing some cosmonaut train, and there's the view from the MiG-25 at the edge of space up there. Well, that was something else. You know, 
Got our little suit on, we did the whole thing. I wanna come back. The guy's got a MIG in the hangar. That's supersonic, that's edge of space stuff. I mean, that's gonna be one for the vlog, I can tell you that. Excuse me now. <laughs> Starting, see it's flashing here. I'm ready to do my job now. There's a shot of the front cockpit here. Can I load up anything in uh, bags for you? We got uh, a can well in the bag if you want to take well it. Well hey, are those, those boots that are made in uh, Tasmania? These are not. Uh, Do they look fancy like that though? No, they're not fancy. I got, I got some uh, that are. I thought they were his brothers. Okay. I like them though. Yeah, no, these are too. I think I'm good. Hi, Mama. Hey there. Hi. How are ya? Wow, what kind of a place you Hey, honey. Yeah, honey. Yeah, we got the big boy. Uh, uh, Everybody's here. He stinks. That was an adventure. Hi, Mama. Alrighty, well that is the deleted scenes from our trip, the stuff that wasn't exciting or just couldn't make it in the video for whatever reason. There it is. Um, well, I just have to say, Brent, thanks for getting back into vlogs with me. It was fun to hang out with you for a little bit um, on camera and off camera, so thank you. Um, so yeah, that, 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 those are the deleted scenes. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a, uh, for a Christmas episode, the first ever episode on this vlog where we're celebrating Christmas. It's exciting. Almost a full year of vlogging. What am I doing for my one year vlog? It's all my birthday, so I gotta do some something good. I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Coolest damn kids on the street. You would be we could kick it all weekend. Maybe no sleep. Speak about whatever till the sun was in the sky. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open. Hoping you were on the beach on my back seat listening to rap so fancy and every time you leave